Hello, I'm Stroll, and I'm bringing you a short commentary over a one in the chamber gameplay I've had saved for a while. In this game, we're going to 10 to 1 and get a very nice game and kill. So, basically, I start off in this building and get a quick first blood and then, you know, carry on. I know that people spawn all around me, so I sort of drill this area and let them come to me. Just about here, I get a lucky knife on Absence. Didn't see him. And if you see, Rage quits the game as I killed him three times in a row. So, just about now, I'm coming up to 40 seconds in the game, and I've already got, well, just about my specialist bonus there. Unfortunately, I come up against this ninja, David Forever, and he outplays me. Dodge two of my bullets and a knife. So, I have quite a command and lead now, and I know that a lot of people have already been eliminated, so I leave the building and I just go for the kills, I'm not really playing any cautiously. I just missed this corner camper, but luckily I knife him, so it's alright. You can see on the radar now that there are only two other people alive, apart from me, so the game's nearly over. I missed this guy, and even though he had two bullets, still managed to kill him. Anyway, pause the video right now, and uh, write in the comments section below what you think the game winning kill will be, and yeah, I do get a kill. So, I'm coming up. I go around this corner and I see that he's just coming out of the dome instead of just going for a normal game winning kill. And no scoping through the fence. I had completely no idea why I even tried this, but it paid off, so I don't mind. Here we go. No scope. Beautiful. Here I show you in super slow motion. Anyway, if you've enjoyed the video and want to see more videos like this, leave a like or a comment, and if you're feeling extra generous, maybe a subscribe. Until next time, I'm Stroll. See ya.